Okay. So Israel, do Senator, whatever you have to do to survive as a Jewish state. Senator, again, military officials say whatever the technology have to do. has changed. But let me ask you about how yeah, all of these military this officials impact. that you're talking let me, about. Let me ask you are something. Full of crap. Full of crap, says Lindsey Graham, the military expert. He can tell anybody who's ever fought in a war, like I have, that they're full of crap. No, Mr. Senator, there is a dangerous virus that has infected the elite of our country, especially when it comes to foreign policy. And you see Lindsey Graham, that's not the first time I've shown him, just this emphatic, almost wild-eyed lust to kill people. He's talking right there about whether there should be an offensive in Rafa, whether there's a better way to do it. And the anchor tried to say, hey, there's other military experts just saying there is a way to conduct intelligence-driven, very precise military operations to go after these final four battalions besides what they've been doing. He doesn't want to hear any of that. He doesn't want anything precise. He wants a nuclear bomb because he could care zero about the human beings involved. And that's what gets my blood boiling. There is no concern about the humanity. It used to be a hallmark of the United States that we care about people, that we care about the innocent and the people who are weak. And all it's making people is disgusted when they see stuff like this because of the absence, not lack of, the absence of humanity. And I can tell you as somebody who has been involved in these operations before through four combat deployments, he is dead flat wrong. There is a right way to do this, and Israel is not doing it. So I don't want to hear any more of that nonsense coming out of somebody who's never fought anywhere, especially when it undercuts our values as a nation and dehumanizes an entire population. And he should be censored in the Senate. That is un-American what he's doing.